Skywatch Media News for the 15th of February, 2021. There is a great deal of celestial activity taking place in our skies, with a series of asteroids passing dangerously close to the Earth, some passing between us and the Moon, with others measuring the size of the Golden Gate Bridge. Our main concern when evaluating the dangers posed by asteroids is determining its distance measured from the center point of our planet to the actual point of its entry. The closer its calculated approach to the Earth, the greater the danger, and so far this year the number of close encounters has been steadily on the rise, especially those that have passed less than one lunar distance of the Earth. NASA has been keeping a very close eye on these potentially hazardous asteroids, and here is what we have learned so far from current or recent observations. For the first two weeks of February, as of the date of this video publication, there have been ten asteroids that have approached our planet within one lunar distance. This is already the equivalent of the entire month of February of the previous year and there are more asteroids reported to be heading our way this month. Seven of those ten asteroids have passed within just the past week. So far in 2021, there have been 19 asteroids passing within one lunar distance of the Earth. What's especially concerning is that so many of these close approaches are discovered within days of their approach or in some cases, after they have already passed. Take for instance asteroid 2021 CQ5, about the size of a small house. The asteroid passed at a distance of 110,617 miles of Earth on February the 11th. The asteroid was detected by the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona on the same day of its approach. But this asteroid was not the only one passing the Earth on February the 11th. Another one, named 2021 CO, which was nearly five times the size of CQ5, passed within one lunar distance on this day. This one was detected several days before its approach, whereas the previous mentioned asteroid was not observed until the time of its passage, which goes to show that some of these close flybys are going undetected, which is a real concern. Within the past week, there has been two asteroids that passed extremely close to the Earth. On February the 9th, asteroid 2021 CZ3 came within 14,000 miles of the center of our planet, and on February the 14th, CW7 came within 17,660 miles. Fortunate for us, these asteroids were small and would have disintegrated if either of them had impacted the Earth's atmosphere. But size doesn't always matter when it comes to the threat that is posed by space rocks, and NASA is warning us that we shouldn't get too comfy. Next month, an asteroid named 2001 FO32, as big as the Golden Gate Bridge with an estimated diameter of 2,500 to 5,500 feet, will pass within 1.2 million miles of the Earth. As it flies past the Earth, FO32 will be traveling at a staggering 76,980 miles per hour at the time of its close approach. This is roughly 100 times faster than the speed of sound, and roughly a third as fast as a bolt of lightning when traveling from the atmosphere to the ground. This asteroid is the fastest traveling space rock to fly past Earth this year. The giant asteroid was first detected on March 23rd of the year 2001 by the Lincoln Near Earth Asteroid Research Program. Observatories have been monitoring it since it was first discovered in order to better determine its orbit as it whizzes past our planet at 77,000 miles per hour next month. If you're an amateur astronomer and have a telescope with an aperture of at least 8 inches, 
you might be able to spot the fast-moving space rock at the right moment. If you live in the southern U.S., point your telescope south-southeast between the constellations of Sagittarius and Corona Australis, as shown in the star map. If skies permit, the best viewing would be at the time and date shown here. Although FO32 is traveling at a safe distance from the Earth, it is still considered as potentially hazardous along with more than 2,000 other near-Earth asteroids that have already been identified. The criteria that must be established when identifying potentially hazardous NEOs is that they must have orbits that approach the Earth's own path around the Sun to within 4.6 million miles. To fit the criteria, the asteroid must also measure greater than 460 feet in diameter. This asteroid meets both criteria. Asteroids such as FO32 are considered as potentially hazardous because they have orbits that come close enough to the Earth's orbit that over a period of centuries they may evolve into Earth-crossing orbits. This is why it is so important to keep tracking these asteroids well into the future in order to study how their orbits might be evolving. Earlier this month, we discovered that our world has a second Trojan asteroid sharing its orbit. The asteroid is called 2020 XL5, and it is thought to be a few hundred meters across. Trojan asteroids are space rocks that are gravitationally locked to stable Lagrange points, which are either 60 degrees ahead of or behind the planets in their orbits around the Sun. Lagrange points, of which there are five in the Earth-Sun system, are positions in space where the combined gravitational pull of two large bodies, such as the Sun and the Earth, can hold a third smaller body, such as an asteroid, in a stable orbit with its counterparts. The most recent Trojan asteroid was discovered near the L4 point shown in this diagram. The reason that these asteroids are so difficult to spot is because, as they orbit, they appear close to the Sun. In addition, their gravitational resonance allows them to move slightly off of their 60-degree Lagrange point. Therefore, the orbits initiate pass around the L4 and the L5 points, which are also moving as the Earth orbits the Sun. There are now two Earth Trojans on the asteroid discovery list. The first one, 2010 TK7, which was discovered on October the 1st of the year 2010, has an orbit that takes it within 12 million miles of Earth every few hundred years. Although its orbit is slowly drifting away, it still remains quite stable in its one-to-one -one resonance with Earth and will for at least the next quarter million years. The giant gas planet Jupiter has some 9,000 Trojan asteroids, so it's very possible the Earth could have several hundred Trojans that are at least a few hundred meters in diameter, which could add up to 3 or 4 percent of the 10,000 near-Earth objects of that size range. 2020 was the year of the comet, both for astronomers and sky watchers alike. But the celestial show is not over. The comet Extravaganza appears to be continuing into the new year. The Minor Planet Center recently announced the discovery of a comet named after its discoverer, Gregory Leonard. CCD images taken on January the 6th by the Mount Lemmon Survey indicate that the comet has a magnitude of 19 and a half. It has a diffuse coma that is 7 inches in diameter. The brightness prospects for this comet are excellent, and it could become visible to the unaided eye looking southwest on December the 12th of this year, when it passes just 0 0.233 astronomical units from the Earth, as well as on December the 18th, when it has a close pass of Venus. On February the 4th, the discovery of a new comet was announced. 
Images from the NEOWISE Infrared Survey Explorer, for which the comet is designated, were obtained on January the 27th. This comet has a magnitude of 19, with a compact coma, which is 10 inches arc second in diameter. There are many magnificent wonders outside of our world, if only we take the time to look. The philosopher Socrates once said that one must rise above the earth to the top of the atmosphere and beyond, for only thus will ye fully understand the world in which one lives. Be safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.